What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis video. Alright guys, gonna be covering something real quick as I speak to you right now. Uh, and that is going to be how to prep yourself for the EX3 version of the Iron Giant. Now, a couple things to note real quick before I even start this video. I don't know what this is going to entail. Uh, this may entail a DPS race like it did with Sephiroth. And if it does... If you don't have the CP, chances are you're not going to finish it. Like you guys can see here, I did EX1, EX2 with like super ease. But then Sephiroth was also just as easy for EX1 and EX2. And EX3, he was just a whole different powerhouse unit, right? So a couple things I want to talk about though real quick before um, I, I, I talk about the actual builds. This is going to be a theory crafting video. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I currently have built for this fight for EX2. And then a couple different options that you can also use, specifically Sephiroth, who can actually play a very good support role. So a lot of folks, whenever I show this, uh, show my, my builds, don't have Tifa built up with uh, leather gloves, right? Which leather gloves here allow her to do physical attack decrease on the opponent with high. And then, of course, she's, she's incredible because she also has Somersault. And Somersault allows her to reduce the physical defense uh, up to mid. And then with Breach, it makes it even easier, right? Because you can just reduce, reduce, reduce cast somersault because it's only 800 chart speed and she's she, and she does her job really well that's the beauty of tifa so if you don't have tifa built my first advice to you is build tifa tifa's an incredible unit in this game she does everything and it does it really well she's a healer really good healer she's a, a pure dps if you want her to be and she has some of the best dps weapons in the game and at the same time, she's the easily, my opinion, the best debuffer in the game. So that's number one advice. Is if you don't have Tifa built up, build up Tifa. The thing with EX3, though, that's going to make it a little difficult is Aerith is going to shine a little bit more here if you have Mithril Rod, right? Your Chocobo Staff is going to have to be replaced because the magic damage here or magic um, defense is going to not matter at all. So... The thing you have to think about here is if you have Aerith as your main healer, you, you kind of want to bring yourself a Mithril Rod. Mithril Rod will cast uh, up to mid a physical defense to everybody and also magic defense, right? So it's pretty important, guys, to be able to um, push that up if you can. Now, the only way it goes up to mid, though, is if you have yourself a... a um, Hold on a sec, right here. Physical defense. So you can see physical defense low if you cast it twice. So it is very costly, okay? So keep that in mind. So you can do option number two. You can bring Aerith, if you don't have Mithril Rod, bring her as a full-on healer as she is right now. And you may, and if you don't have Tifa, your second option is Sephiroth. Believe it or not, Sephiroth is going to be a great addition. Cloud will always be my main DPS because of two things, okay? Number one, he's got Cross Slash at level, uh, level 7 for Limit Break because I actually invested in that. He's got more uh, P attributes, P attack attributes than Sephiroth does. Uh, even though if you max out Sephiroth, he will have a very similar look and feel. The main thing that makes Sephiroth really good as a support is going to be the following. Okay, I'm going to show you guys real quick how I built it and why you can do the same thing. And so this is why Sephiroth being built as a support may work really well for you if you have this weapon in, in, in your in your arsenal, but you don't have leather gloves. So Torn Wings, number one, is going to be a perfect addition to this fight. So for EX3, you know the Iron Giant's going to surge and he's going to do insane amounts of damage. So you want to bring two things. You want to bring physical defense up and you want to bring... P attack down, right? So physical defense up. Sephiroth has you covered with the Torn Wings. We just got this weapon recently. So this one's going to most likely shine in the next fight. And not only is it good for boost attack, but it also boosts his physical defense as well too with the R ability. So this is, I think, going to be your main weapon to use on Sephiroth if you plan to use him as your support instead of Tifa. The second weapon you may want to bring is going to be this one here, the Northern Lights, which is exactly the same as the Leather Gloves. It does physical attack, it does crit. It also reduces physical attack def uh, by mid. And then if you cast it a second time, exactly like leather gloves, it reduces it down to high. So a very, very good weapon to bring to that fight because it will give you the support you need to, number one, do both things. It gives you the physical defense up and it's going to give you the P attack down. So Sephiroth can be built and used as a full-on support in this fight and keep you guys running. Now, if you do plan to build him that way and he's gonna be your support over Tifa, then you do wanna change around the tactics a little bit here. Instead of having sub weapons here that raise physical attack or anything like that, you wanna just give him P 
pure HP so he can just take hits and survive. And honestly, having some physical defense isn't bad. So put in any material that raises your HP. Give him a little bit of physical attack, obviously, as well, because you do want him to do some form of damage with his water, uh, water blow or water blow. But try your focus on pushing that HP as high as you possibly can. And I think Sephiroth might serve you really, really well in terms of being a support. So that is my suggestion to you guys for a support backup to Tifa because a lot of people keep telling me they don't have the leather gloves so you do have other options right and keep in mind there are other weapons in the game that also have physical defense down so you don't need to worry about just Tifa if you go to my video where I, t I show all the all the uh, weapons that have um, debuffs you can find yourself one that does physical attack down so pretty good options available to you but absolutely guys bring physical defense up as well because ex3 is going to hit very hard now as for crash chances are it's free to play unless you're at the 200k level somehow at this point or like the 180-ish you i don't think you're really gonna have much of a chance unless you've pulled and you've somehow managed to use all of your currency to get zach's new weapon up and also uh glenn's new weapon available for physical attack up as well too outside of that i think EX3 might be doable this time around. Sephiroth was a whole different story because I didn't have any weapons, but this Iron Giant, real, realistically, as susceptible as they are to water damage, they're susceptible to it the entire time, right? The only way I see this being a, a major issue is if there's a DPS check, he goes through Surge and starts doing Grand, grand Sword nonstop or even his AoE swing and ends up one-shotting us anyway. So if that's the case, really, there's no work around this, all right? So I just wanted to give you guys some extra options there. Now, number two, the second thing I want to talk about is just a couple of things that are happening in November. So no November co-op uh, schedule is out. Uh, one thing to note, these are all the enemies, obviously, that are coming out. So Mole, Mole Crawler, Armored Scorpion, Wu and Tire currently out now. Uh, Specimen, uh, Tam and Lin, and Airbuster will be out next week. Uh, November 16th, you're going to see Red Dragon, Airbuster, and Gallon Baylor. And November 23rd, Scorpion, Sentinel, Blue Dragon, and Mad Anchor. Now, the main thing to look at here, guys, is these here, these cloud-specific weapon parts, or sorry, these weapon-specific parts. Make sure you know what you want to go for. So if you've actually pulled for Zack's weapon and you you have, like, enough currency from Zack's blueprints from the uh, Zack event that happened in summertime, these are going to help you further that weapon even more if you plan to, to level it up. Same with Cloud. If you have, obviously, the Morsame or any other weapon, like the Maritime Sword, that's going to help you with this fight. Definitely pick up the Maritime Sword. Uh, and move it up to OB6 if you can, and try to get as much of it as you possibly could use to get that up as well to help you with any water damage. Plus, it'll help you farm, um, farm Ramu as well. And then obviously a uh, Barret and Matt, so depending what you need. But this is pretty important, guys. So make sure you're using your coins and using them wisely in terms of getting those blueprints. They're going to obviously help you in the long run. That's the purpose of them. And then lastly, obviously, the known issues, Trial of Ramu. This one, I don't know what this is. I know the bar trick still works where you can remove the bar completely and finish a uh, very hard mode. They haven't fixed that. But this here says, in some instances, the boss ability judgment bolt does not display correctly. If someone knows what this is, if you've en encountered this, please let me know. Love to hear about it. I have never seen this. But there you guys have it. I just want to give you guys a backup support. I know a lot of people love using Sephiroth as a main unit uh, and mostly for DPS. But I want to show you guys how you can build him as a support and have him actually keep your party alive while you use other units to DPS on his behalf. All right, guys, this is Payne. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.